One other finding of William Bates was that people who see well look in a different people, use their eyes in a different way, sorry, than people who don't see well. And one thing that people who see well do all the time is we are moving our gaze. We are looking at different details. That is, we are moving the focus of this uh, very precise pixel of foveal vision. Mm -hmm. So if we keep moving our, our, our gaze, if we keep looking at different details, we can see them with the highest quality of our highest pixel of perception. And then our memory, uh -huh, our mind can recreate an image of all the pixels of high quality that we have looked at. And that's why we have a good general vision. But it's impossible to have a good picture of everything at the same time because the eye doesn't work like that. The eye has the best, um, the best pixel of perception just in the fovea, uh -huh, in, the, in the foveal vision. So if you are not seeing as usually as well as you see through this very small hole, it is because your mind was not aware of your foveal vision, number one. And number two, you were not moving your gaze, uh, moving the details that you look at, fast enough and often enough. And if you tend to use glasses, the problem with glasses is that they tend to fix your gaze because the uh, crystals are curved. And so the only place where focus is uh, optimized is the center. So if you want to look at something else, you have to move your whole, he your whole head. Uh -huh. Your eyes are not encouraged to, uh, to look um, within the crystal. So another reason to use your glasses as little as possible is to encourage um, the movement of your eyes so that you can take advantage better and better of your foveal vision and that you can train your brain to pay attention at that pixel of highest quality of vision. Uh -huh. And this way you're going to see better and better. And now I'm trying to fix this because I'm going to show you a tool that you can use to also um, take advantage of this principle of the foveal vision and this stenopaic effect. And these are pinhole glasses. Yeah, well, <laughs> I only have one, uh, one plastic with the holes. With the pinhole glasses, what you see, it's a, it's a piece of plastic on a standard frame for glasses that just has little holes. Mm -hmm. And what's the difference between the pinhole glass and this? None. The only difference is that it's a bit difficult to go through life like this. <laughs> yeah, you don't have your hands to use for other things and you look weird. So if you wear pinhole glasses, it's a kind of, they're kind of, uh, they look similar to sunglasses, so you can use them also very freely outside and look normal, uh -huh. where if you go in the street like this, you don't look normal. So the pinhole glasses, and sorry, I cannot find the other one, but you can see the effect. Because they have little holes all over, uh, they also encourage the saccadic movements that you look through different little holes. Mm -hmm. They encourage movement of your eyes, and they also create this awareness of your foveal vision for your brain. So one thing that you can do if you want to improve your vision naturally, and while you're taking the time to um, train your eyes to see better and better, is get yourself some uh, pinhole glasses on the internet. And they're actually extremely cheap. Uh -huh. uh, there's uh, pinhole glasses that cost between one to five dollars, which is like almost nothing compared to uh, contact lenses or normal standard glasses. The cheapest ones are one to five dollars. Uh, you also can find more expensive ones, uh, like the cheaper ones are usually made in China and the more expensive ones are usually made in Germany. And what they change is the, the size and the kind of the hole in the glass. But for most people, the cheapest ones are really very, very useful. And I would advise you to buy a pair of these uh, that you can use uh, for reading, that you can use for watching TV, for watching your computer. Um, you can watch it at the theater, at the movie theater. What you should not use these glasses for is for driving because they, um, they take too much information of your visual field. And you shouldn't use them if you are using um, dangerous tools. And you shouldn't use them when there's little light because if there's little light, well, you're not going to see much. They don't activate enough. Uh, they don't stimulate enough your retina.